Gary, firstly, off the back of a win last Saturday, how's the week in training been? Good. Um, you know, he was kind enough to give us uh, an extra day off in, in Monday just to recharge the batteries a little bit. Um, you know, more so I think because the lads had a little bit of a bounce game at, up at Middlesbrough at the time. So, um, no, it gave, gave the lads who played a, a chance to, to have a bit of a rest and the lads who didn't play, obviously, a, a chance to get 90 minutes in, into, the, into them. So, um, no, it all, all worked out well, obviously, coming off the back of a, of a win, it was... Uh, it's easy, easy for him to do, I guess. Uh, we're just re reflecting on last Saturday, I suppose. You know, a two-nil win. I don't know how you felt, but we really looked like a comfortable and established League Two side playing against, a, you know, a very good Walsall. I think we said that. Uh, uh, you know, I was speaking to Sweeney after the game, and um, he said, "Although, you know, we, we probably didn't play our best in the first half. We, we were quite comfortable as well. You know, that they, we obviously went in at one 0 up, but um, you know, they hadn't really threatened um, other than other than Connor's um, header, which, which Ben saved. So." Uh, other than that, you know, I can't really remember them having, having much of a chance in that first half. But you know, second half, I thought you know, we watched it back yesterday in, in, in uh, after training, and you know, I, you know, the manager pointed out some, some some great some great points that you know some positives that that we made in that second half. And um, you know, you said if we can if we can you know implement that in, in the coming games and over the over the season, um, then great. Um, I think the main thing I, I've took took away from these these first few games is that. We've we've been really competitive in the mall. You know, we, we haven't looked out of place. Um, you know, the barrel game aside, you know, I think we were obviously disappointed to lose and concede three goals, which was you know unchar uncharacteristic like like us. But um, even then, it was, it was a close game, three two, and um, probably could have went either way, but for some for some uh, some poor mistakes on the day. How important is momentum, especially in such a tough league like this? And our home record, obviously, has been fantastic, and uh, we're making the Vic a little bit of a fortress now. I think you know it's it's. Come from from last season, hasn't it? I think um, you know we we done well without fans in the stadium, and you know we we made a, we made a point of wanting to continue that with with, with fans in the stadium, um, and you know we, we've done that you know in the first couple of games, and you know I think if if we want to do anything this season, um, you know that home format will be vital for us again. Obviously, a win last week against one of your old sides, mm -hmm. and when we put the team out actually on, at two o'clock on Saturday, I don't think a few Walsall fans realised that. Uh, you were still playing, to be honest. No, uh, even, even even dropping back down to centre back as well. To be fair, I didn't play much for them, to be honest. Uh, I played a handful of games, and you know, probably didn't do as well as I, you know, played out position a few times, which which Daryl at the time when I left, he, he, he you know, he apologised for. But um, no, I probably didn't, didn't probably didn't see the best of me. But um, you know, it's, it's, it's gone now. You know, I came here and, and you know, thoroughly uh, enjoyed myself and, and got got back got back on track, got got some form back and. Um, you know, I'd like to think that I, you know I've, I've played a big part in, in over the last year, over the last year or two. You certainly have, and looking towards this weekend, it, it's almost getting built up a little bit, like like almost like a derby game a little yeah. bit. Even though Carlisle's what two hours away, you know, do you do you feel that you know in and around the train, the lads talking about that a little bit, or there's certainly been a good you know uptake of tickets between you know amongst the lads, but um, no, it's it's going to be it be a good good day. I think it'll be the biggest crowd we've played in post Bristol, so. Um, you know that in itself will obviously you know bring 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 what it brings. So um, no, it'll, you know, I think they're bringing close to a thousand fans, and you know we'll have close to five thousand, I'm guessing. So it, it will be a, a, a good game, and uh, the atmosphere will be great. Like I said, it's uh, you know the, the biggest crowd we've played in, in, you know, since since that Bristol game. So um, you know hopefully we, we'll we'll you know take that in our stride, and, and you know have that home back in with us, and um, you know give them another good result at home. Another one of your old sides, Carlisle. Mm. You know, does that add to it at all for your game personally when you're playing again, or coming up against you know an old side? Not really. I think that you know I looked at the uh, you know the squad recently. I think there's only Gav Skelton, who's, who's the system manager there, who's probably there, who, who you know I'm you know familiar with. Um, on the playing side, you know, there's there's not many, if any, lads there now other than young lads who have probably you know made the breakthrough into into the first team squad. But um, no, it's 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 just another game for me. You know, obviously it's. Same as last week was. If we can, uh, if I can come out on the, on the right side of the result again, then, then you know, although it's a, um, an old team, you know, I'd, I'd still certainly take it. That's for sure. One of the stats that came out this week is mm. that you, you saw Gary Little is is second in the leaderboard for the most aerial mm. duels won. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, one. I did see that. Yeah, yeah it, it, is that something that that you know that you kind of knew it because it looks like every single header that comes over, you you seem to win it and you really leap above everyone else as well. Yeah, I think it's just. And then, you know, I, I was speaking to one of their lads, one of their um, coaches, you know, Walsall's coaches, after the game, and he said, you know, for for a centre back, mostly not the most tallest in, in the division. You know, there's, there's you know monsters in this division, and, and like there is in, in the division below. What 
you know, just just breaking six foot, which, which I am. Um, you know, I'd like to think it, it's more about endeavour and desire and, and, and you know wanting wanting to win the ball. You know, I've played against many strikers who, who were a lot taller than me, but um, you know, if, if I've got that desire and that willingness and you know that um, enthusiasm to, to win the ball, then you know I, I'd like to think that I've got a good chance of winning it. Obviously, at the, at the top end of the pitch, you know, uh, how good is it being able to see the likes of Tyler mm. and Will come in, especially Tyler really hit the ground running, and it must make your life a little bit easier as well. Yeah, you know, obviously going back to just speaking there about, you know, I was speaking to one of their staff, you know, that they they didn't have a bad word to say about Tyler, you know, they were they were they were really um, really complimentary about him on, on the day, and he's done brilliant for us both. Of them have, you know, both. I think I read yesterday that the youngest strike force in the league as well at, at 19 and, and 20, I think. Watch. What, um, what they are, so no, they've done brilliant. You know, it can go either way with with, with those young loans. You know, I've, I've been at many clubs where, you know, you uh, you get these young loans in and, and they don't quite work out. But um, no, these two have come in and, and hit the ground running. And uh, there will come a point, you know, as as a rule with, with every player where where they will hit a bit of a, a dodgy patch, and um, it's important that we you know that, that we do rally around them when that comes. But um, at the moment, now that they've done terrific for us and a real outlet for us as well, you know, that a little bit of a, a different strike, different. Um, to each other, if you like, complement each other really well in terms of Will's that battering ram. In terms of you know, he, he can hold up the ball, he can he can head the ball, but he, he's also good with his feet. And Tyler, you know, if, if I was certainly one of one with Tyler, I wouldn't wouldn't like to wouldn't like that to be in that situation. That's for sure. How much does it help, you know, them and you know, your likes of Joe Gray as mm -hmm. well, and, and the younger lads in the squad that you've got the likes of yourself, you know, and Nicky Featherstone, and more experienced, and we really got a good you know diversity in the squad. That, like, you know, are you speaking to them a lot? Are they, you know? Trying to take advice off of likes of you and Feds and that. Yeah, I think it's important. Obviously, there's not many of us who've played in in the league um, in, in the squad at the moment. So, you know, any any advice that and likes of me, Feds, um, you know, Sweens, if you like, Sweens, Sweens has had uh, hundreds of games in, in the league as well. So, no, it, it, it's important that we've got a, quite a young squad and an inexperienced squad. So, um, no, any any advice we can give them, whether it be training or, or on the day or. Even during a game, which you know, I think it's it's really important. Um, then you know that they're, they're certainly willing to listen. How do you overall assess then our start to the season? I'm seeing mentioned that Barrow game, mm -hmm. but it it seems that things quite positive at the moment. At the moment, I think you know we've certainly taken you know the start that we've had. Um, obviously, we, we look back at the Barrow game and um, seeing that that could have went either way really. But um, no, if you if you asked you know a few first three games, um, you know not including the the crew one, if you did it. You know your first three league games. If you could win two and and lose one, then uh, I think you know most fans and, and most of the, the staff in here and players would have would have probably taken it. Um, now another important game tomorrow, and, and hopefully we can make that three. I'm guessing with that it comes with the great atmosphere in the changing room and the training ground as well, which which I'm guessing we've established throughout the start of the season. I think it's just winning games. You know, if, if you're winning games, um, you, you're, um, you, you're everyone's smiling, everyone's happy. Um, you know, it could soon change, and you know we won't rest on our laurels. That's for sure. So um, no, we've we've prepared right for this week. Um, we, we we've we've done video analysis yesterday. We'll we'll do a bit more today on Carlisle themselves, and um, we'll be round to go again. And just finally, I see some news this week that uh, Buster, a good friend of yours, will yeah. be leaving the club. You know how how is that affected? Obviously, Buster's leaving for his own reasons, but how has that affected the lads in the in the uh, in the changing room? Yeah, he, I think he mentioned to, he mentioned it to me a couple of weeks ago, and on on you know just. Um, before you mentioned twenty miles, and at, you know, at the time I was quite sad. At the time, obviously he's, he left. He's already left once, and um, you know the manager was was um, happy enough to bring him back. And um, he, he's been a massive influence at the football club, not just this time, but all, over the uh, over the years. Over my first stint at the club, um, he, he was massive for me. Um, just one of the lads, really. He's, he's obviously he's a character in himself. His, his enthusiasm to, to what he does, um, and he, he's he's. You know, celebrating that promotion um, last season, you know, besides someone like Buster, was uh, was great for me, and um, he'll be hard to replace. That's for sure. Gary, thanks very much.